Hey y'all, it's Drea. Welcome back to the channel. And I wanted to use this beginning montage to talk a little bit about my sabbatical that I've been on since June 6th. I'm a retail pharmacist and I just realized more and more that I was super unhappy. And I know a lot of people that worked in my same industry that were also unhappy, but they had families. And so many responsibilities so they couldn't take a step back but I realized I was in a unique position to allow myself time to get back to myself while I don't have all those responsibilities so it's been great to just get back into reading and taking care of my hair it seems so simple but for me when I look good I feel good and because I was so caught up in work I wasn't even taking the time to do things that I love like I said read do my hair, even cook, clean my own house. Yes, you can hire people if you have the ability to, but it was something that I wanted to do. And the point was that I didn't have the time between trying to see friends and trying to see family and doing so much related to work, even on my off days because I was managing. I really wanted to take the time to get back to things that I love. And luckily I was blessed to be able to completely take off of work for a few months and do that and I just want to say if you have things you want to do try to carve out time because it's been great for me good morning okay so today is Monday and it's my first time going to Orange Theory. I'm so excited. We'll see how it goes. I'm kind of nervous, but we'll just see. I'm not going to say too much about it. But yeah, I have to be there 30 minutes ahead of time. The class is at 8.30. I have to be there for 8. It is currently 7.24. So it's not that far. So I'll probably be sitting in the parking lot for a little bit. So I'll come back when I get there. It took way longer to get here than it should have. It is 7.43, but that's because it's Monday morning and people cannot drive on Monday mornings. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's probably scientifically proven. Okay, reporting live from the parking lot, post-class. It was good. I will say that um, I did think I was gonna die at some points especially when they push you with the rowing um because you're trying to get to a certain like meter rate and a certain i think it's like the heart rate um you're trying to get to the green zone so you really have to push yourself uh that was a little much and um also the treadmill but i will say that i don't think i would push myself as much as they push you as far as cardio goes in the class like I don't think I would do that on my own so that's what I really like about it because yeah I want to look good but I also want my heart to be healthy so I need to push myself to do cardio so yeah that's the biggest reason that I wanted to come try it and my verdict is I'll be back they tried to get me to go to a lifting class today absolutely not um <laughs> I'm gonna go to a, one of the regular 60 minute classes on Wednesday morning and then next week I'll do the lifting class but no ma'am if you thought I was about to do that and then cool me down and then get me to go to another class absolutely not I'm not doing it so I'll see y'all Wednesday but all in all I do um recommend it I've caught a breather so I might be able to go to the store we'll see uh, uh, bounces back Back. Sexy, I know y'all miss the bounce. You need to bounce for the sex, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm at the dry cleaners. Um, I have some comforters that cannot fit in my washing machine. I need to look up if I can get a washing machine that can fit comforters. Because some of them, um, like one my the one that's in my room is fancy. Uh, like embroidered and stuff not embroidered but like the pattern on it is raised 
so i feel like yeah that one probably does need to be dry clean but i have some more flimsy ones that i could wash at home it's just my washing machine doesn't fit them so yeah but anyway so i'm gonna take this stuff and take it to the dry cleaners and then after i leave here i need to go by goodwill to drop some stuff off um recycling was already taken for me yesterday so that's cool so yeah we're just gonna do this oh and then i stopped by this place because i'm thinking about trying pilates you do this back made back roof is back tell the whole world the truth is back you ain't gotta argue about who can rap because the proof is back just go through my raps new york new york yeah where my troopers at where my hustlers where my boosters at i don't care what you do for stacks i know the world moves your back to the wall you gotta roll do that I've been through that, been shot at, shoot that. Gotta keep a peace like a boot ass. I ain't a new jack, nobody gon' west me, snipe me. It's less than like me. Move back, let I breathe, Jedi night. The more space I get, the better I write. Oh, never I write, but if ever I write. Guys, okay, so I'm in the garage because I started um to clean my shoes the other day and then I don't know what happened. So I'm back and i'm gonna try to finish cleaning them um i'm gonna do that and then me and the boyfriend are going to buffalo wild wings happy hour yeah so i'm excited about that but yeah today has been a chill day i need to go to the grocery store so um i might get him to see if he'll go with me but i don't know we'll see might just go alone. I don't know. But I'm about to be out of town, so he usually don't doesn't like to go to the grocery store when I'm about to go out of town. So maybe I'll just I might just end up doing like an order pickup and um, pick it up when I get back next week. Cause I'll be gone for a couple of days. So yeah, we'll see. But um, how are y'all doing? I'm feeling pretty good. It's crazy because. Today is the 19th. Oh my gosh, time just goes by so fast. So, I've officially been off of work for a month. No, it's been six weeks. Yes, it's been six weeks. Uh, yeah, this week. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually week seven. Yes. And people keep asking like, oh, when you going back to work, blah, blah, blah. People can just not fathom the fact that I have been off. And honestly, y'all, it's like, I wouldn't mind going back right now. I really wouldn't. But, um, I don't know. It's just like, I was so unhappy that I feel strange trying to force myself to go back to something that made me so unhappy and then what if I become unhappy again? I've been so like calm and the only thing that has been a little stressful is in this couple of weeks, I was trying to find a groove for myself. And honestly, I think just now, like literally after six weeks, when I got to this week is when I finally just felt like, okay, I've, I found a rhythm and to just abruptly end that is scary to me. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do as of right now. Like, I have no clue, like, so we'll see. It's just, it's just hard to decide. But anyways, uh, I need some water so I can, like screw up at these shoes, so let me go get that. All right, I got the water. Well, it's in a vinegar bottle, but it's water. And it's time to clean some shoes. I'm always in this garage and it's hot. Well, it feels a little bit better, but I feel like when I get another house, like my house house, I'm gonna need an air conditioner or a system in the garage. Is that possible? I don't know. But, um, 
I just realized in the midst of me scrubbing, trying to hand scrub those shoes that I do have the option to put them in the washing machine because they already beat up anyway. I'm only using them to go to my Orange Theory workouts. So like, it's no big deal. So I'm gonna throw those in the washing machine and be done with it. But these I did have to hand scrub because this is canvas. So it gets dirty easily. But nobody told me to wear these to, I think, yeah, I wore these to French Quarter Fest in New Orleans, a food festival, and it's outside, so I don't know why I thought that would be the best place to wear these, but anyway, it's your shoes, you can wear them, they'll get dirty, you can clean them, so, yeah. Um, and then I just got a phone call from my financial advisor, because I just got one of those too, which is crazy, like, how you get a financial advisor if you semi quit your job but yeah um i was talking to them i'm excited about making investments but also i'm also thinking about i've been wanting to invest in real estate but with the times now it's just been so crazy to buy something else the current house i'm living in now i would like to rent it out and then i would like to get something else but the next thing i would get would not be my forever home so it's like mm, i probably should just stay here try to get some more investment properties hopefully i'm trying to figure out the best course of action with it so i'm gonna try to go to a meeting this week uh with some people that build homes to see what my options could be like something more affordable than what i've been seeing and it's very competitive and it's like i'm not trying to be in a bidding war for an investment property like this is not about to be my forever home, you know? So, yeah, I wanna do that as well while I'm off. It's just, I wanna give myself options so that if and when I do go back, well, when I go back, because I'm going to go back to work in pharmacy, but I wanna do it in a more limited capacity. I don't wanna do it full time. That's just point blank, cut and dry, so. Because really, they just will use you up, truly, in retail. And that's like that in a lot of jobs. If you allow them to, they will use you, use you up um, and burn you out. And I've just seen too many horror stories with that. So, yeah. So, yeah. This concludes my TED Talk. I'm going to finish getting ready to leave. And then we'll be off to... Buffalo Wild Wings happy hour. I actually never have been a happy hour at Buffalo Wild Wings, so I'm interested to see how that goes. Hola, como esta? Um, I went and ran some errands this morning and now I'm back home. But I went to Wingstop. I want to try their new wings. There's a fly in here. Go away. Wingstop has the best ranch. I got the new hot honey. Let's see. Mm. 
Okay, okay. Since it's a dry rub, it's not as like intense. I feel like they should make a wet flavor, a wet version because they are really be good. But it's good. It's just like very subtle, a little spicy, a little sweet. What you would expect? I get it again as a substitute when I don't want to feel like getting lemon pepper. Because that's the only real dry rub that I eat. But I feel like since it's a dry rub, you got to put a lot on there. So, it's so subtle. Let me try one. Let me try one. Oh, let me, let me get some. Let me scrape some off the bottom. Some of the flavor off the bottom. Then we're going to see. Alright, let's see what that tastes like. It's a cute little flavor, it's just so subtle. Y'all, it is so, it's not even really that hot outside, but these cars. Huh. That's why lately I've been seeing a lot of stuff about um, ch child, can I talk? Child deaths in cars and um, I can see how quickly it can happen because even with the air on, even with it feeling a little better outside today, even though it's um, it was one on one. Look, I am literally sweating and I just got in here. Um, yeah, I can see how it can happen because I have the air on and I'm still burning up. So, this is not fun. I'm trying to uh, Google and my internet is not working and it's hot. Morning. Okay, so um, it's 11:30 and I'm on my way to my Orange Theory class. I have a couple days where I live and then I'm going to Houston because uh, it's a lot going on. My friends are coming because some of them have to be in a bachelorette um, party type situation. Um, and then I have my 10 year high school reunion, which is crazy. Like I've been out of college for 10 years. I'm, well, out of college. I've been out of high school for 10 years. That's crazy. So we have that and then I also have a party that my best friend wants me to go to with her. It's a 70s party. So, yeah. A lot of exciting things happening this week. And I have to go early anyway because also I have an appointment to get my hair cut. We'll see what kind of... I'm like really scared about that because I've never... I mean, I've gone to have my hair cut. But when I did that, I had color damage i'm pretty sure it was color, not heat damage because i didn't even straighten my hair that much i had color damage from when i had um blonde highlights way way back in the day so um yes i i'm nervous though because now my hair is not really damaged it's not damaged it's just that it's i don't know the shape i don't really like the shape it, it's really giving nothing it's like blah you know i want a better a better shape but i don't want to lose any length so i'm like Ugh she's a stylist it's a natural hairstylist i'm sure i can explain that she'll get it but still it's always nerve-wracking when you're about to do something with your hair so especially since i've been growing my hair for about seven years now so yeah seven maybe almost eight now but yeah so that's gonna happen and yeah so it's a lot going on this week, but I have to get my workouts in. Um, this cardio has been good for me. It's only been a week. This is only week two, so we'll see. I also want to incorporate lifting again, um, like lifting heavy, so I can have my cardio and my lifting. So yeah, I'll um, be adding a day of that in too, and then next week, um, I'm probably gonna try to do well let me take a little bit at a time I'll do one more lift day for a couple weeks and then I'm gonna try to do two lift days so I'm working out a total of four days 
two days cardio two days lifting um and see how that goes but anyway so yeah i'm on the way to do that <sighs> and that's pretty much it it's a nice day it's 90 degrees so that's a little bit better than what it's been it's been like ridiculous y'all and i don't know some people that don't live um in louisiana or texas maybe 90 degrees is still too much i mean it still is hot but it's been almost 100 or 100 so but it is kind of earlier in the day so we'll see but hopefully by then i'll be in the house